Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Texans franchise. We have three more games today and Titus Howard is going to be out for the first one broken finger. So once again, he is injured and has to be replaced by Austin Deculus. This right tackle spot has been a weakness all season. It has been with Titus Howard, but it also has been even more with Austin Deculus. We're gonna face the Giants up first. Saquon Barkley is gonna be the main threat. And he has, yeah, he has great speed. He has great elusiveness, juke move, spin move, that kind of stuff. He is uh, really shifty and he always hits the cutback lane at the perfect time. They have a weaker receiving core, but they have a nice offensive line with Andrew Thomas and rookie Evan Neal. They have a few good starters along the defensive line, one of, uh, one of which is Dexter Lawrence with great strength. And um, then they also drafted Kayvon Thibodeau with excellent athleticism, 79 power moves already. It's also a good, or I guess for a rookie, he's a, he's a good starting place for run stopping. They have a couple nice um, defensive backs, but overall this team is, yeah, lacking talent. Across the defensive line, they have a, a pretty weak linebacking room um, and their secondary, apart from a couple good starters, is, yeah, kind of weak. So you can't abuse that and I think the Texans should have a chance in this game just because the trenches are not like the the strong point of this Giants team. They also, the Giants also have a offensive line apart from Andrew Thomas and Evan Neal that is, uh, it kind of lacks the power and the, yeah, just the, the overall performance that you need to have a strong rushing attack. Although you have Saquon Barkley and he's breaking loads of tackles, so he can make up for that. But in the trenches, I think that the Texans should have a chance to at least compete. I know we have the weakest defensive line in the league, but we still should have a chance to compete in this game. It's not like we're facing the Lions offensive line or something. And right there to start the game, Jerry Hughes in the backfield getting a sack and forcing a third and 14 for Daniel Jones. He has lots of time. Finally, pressure comes in and then there is a missed tackle by Kendall Sheffield and um, this is Jordan Aikens getting the first down. It's his revenge game. He's the number one tight end. Daniel Jones has a guy open over the middle. That's Kadarius Toney and he's got the first down. That's um, almost 20 yards and the Giants are moving the sticks quickly here. Second and four handoff to Saquon Barkley. And there is a missed tackle. There is another missed tackle. Murray trying to chase him, but it's a touchdown, Giants. 33 yards to the end zone. Saquon Barkley shows off the moves. What a start to this game for Saquon Barkley. And the Giants are leading 7-0. And now Davis Mills takes the field, just like Daniel Jones. They're kind of uh, under scrutiny right now for not having like the greatest seasons of all times, I guess. And maybe both teams are getting new quarterbacks in the offseason, but we'll see. That's Marlon Mack to start off the game, and he's got the first down. Tries to stiff arm somebody out of the way, falls ahead, getting 15 yards. Nice run. Now across midfield, Davis Mills from the midfield logo. He's going down. That is Leonard Williams. So that's, yeah, was a pretty weak performance by the right guard. And yeah, the Texans drive is done. First and 10 for Daniel Jones, and that's Jordan Akins. And they're uh, getting ahead here. And then Daniel Jones on second and three has another first down. That's uh, 14 yards. First and 10 now from uh, ahead, like from the from Texas territory already. But Blake Cashman on the zone blitz gets inside the pocket and takes on the quarterback. And now Daniel Jones on third and 20. Zone blitz coming in. 
and he gets rid of it and this is intercepted it's Jonathan Grenard and he has the interception on Daniel Jones that was a pretty bad decision he had loads of time and then he didn't throw it away but instead he tried to hit the flats and never hit the flats late that always ends badly and uh, Grenard who is an edge rusher dropped into coverage on the zone blitz and gets the football takes it away and then on the next play Marlon Mack loses five yards because nowhere to go third and nine Davis Mills three-man pressure only you got to get this done and this is Brandon Cooks at the 10 that's 19 yards first down they're moving the chains now they're inside the red zone third and 10 now from the 10 Davis Mills he has a clean pocket four-man pressure gets it away sideline touchdown Texans it's Nico Collins and the Texans tie up this game or are set to tie up this game at seven and that was a beautiful play nice execution nice awareness to not step out of bounds set his feet like a yard away from the sideline and then the Texans go on to miss the extra point so it's a 7-6 game Saquon Barkley up the middle and that is 13 yards and he's at over 50 yards on four carries Daniel Jones four man pressure pressure coming in off his back foot and it is inner no, it's actually not intercepted I thought that Derek Singley would have a chance but at least he knocked it away and then Saquon third and one doesn't get it fourth down at the 37 do you go for it yeah you do I formation Daniel Jones hands it off and Saquon's got the first down that's five yards and they got it done close bunch to the left for Jones blitz is picked up for now and now Daniel Jones is under pressure and he gets sacked by Desmond King the slot corner gets in there and forces a big loss from the 39 that's a 56 yard field goal try and it is no good great field position for the Texan third and five Mills gets it away to the sideline and it is actually caught by Nico Collins who has been really reliable in the absence of Justin Ross third and three now from the 10 and Davis Mills has a man and it is incomplete knocked away by the defender that's and it's gonna end in a field goal so nine to seven game now and this is Sterling Shepard and he's got a huge conversion here that's 23 yards and now Daniel Jones with the play action shot to the sideline and that's caught by Aikens first down at the 32 now they're at the edge of field goal range second and seven four man pressure Daniel Jones stands tall in the pocket dumps it off Saquon gets a few yards but we're at the end of the half almost and they're just gonna take a field goal that is almost blocked wow still got it away 10 to 9 at halftime but that was close they had a, an issue mishandling the snap there by the holder but they at least got it away it's 10 to 9 and this has been a really defensive slugfest both teams are trying to dominate on defense and the offenses are really inconsistent moving the football but let's look at another game Jacksonville down by seven at half against the Chiefs so I guess the Chiefs are probably gonna go on to win this game they're by far the better team and then Tennessee is at home and they have a battle against Russell Wilson it's tied at seven at halftime so yeah this division is kind of battling for the playoff spots except for the Texans who are not doing anything and just got sacked again and that was um i'm not sure what 92 is but uh yeah that at least ended the drive and now daniel jones just about got it away but it's fourth down anyway 15 of 21 for daniel jones up until this point so he's having a nice game third and six pressure coming in mills gotta get it away and he splits the safeties and mechie drops the football on third and six are you kidding me they have to punt it back to the Giants. John Mechie just had the perfect opportunity. And this is Desmond King. And this is a takedown at the 14, 13 yard line. But great interception by the slot corner. 
What a turn of events. John Mechie drops the third down. They punt it back and just a couple plays later, Desmond King takes it away. And then Marlon Mack loses three on that run. Second and 13, two backs in the backfield. Mills running into pressure and that's a nine yard loss. Leonard Williams in the backfield. Kayvon Thibodeau, third and 22. Can you convert this or is it uh, just gonna be a field goal and they got down to the five it's a fourth down and two the Texans have a chance here and they are going for it they've been losing all season they want to win this and Mills has a man open it's Mechie and it's first and goal it's third and goal now two incompletions now Davis Mills has a man in the end zone and it is caught by Brendan Cooks touchdown Texans and they are finally Leading this game again. 15 to 10. And they gotta go for two here. Marlon Mack is the back. They spread out the defense. Mills gets it away. It's incomplete. Mack couldn't hang on to it. And that's gonna be a five point lead. Daniel Jones. Play action shot. He has some time. Gets it away. Somebody's got behind the defense. It's Kadarius Tony, And that is a 60-yard connection. What a play by the Giants as the safety just lost track there. And that's a touchdown for the Giants. Sterling Shepard gets the score. And the Giants are taking the lead back. And now they are going for two. And they failed. Third and four. Davis Mills got to get it away, but he's getting sacked and the ball falls incomplete. 8 of 19. The pressure has been unbelievable as Jones has pressure in the backfield. And Derek Stingley, you got to pick it up at some point in your career. Fourth down, they punt it back to Davis Mills here. And Damian Pierce, nowhere to go. Still losing two yards, even though he just fell ahead and... Almost broke a tackle there. Davis Mills on third and 11. And this is Brandon Cooks just about converting. That's like 12 yards. And they did convert. They spread out the defense. Handed off to Marlon Mack. And he is uh, breaking tackles left and right. 12 yards. Finally a good run by Marlon Mack. Second and seven. Davis Mills gets it away. Brandon Cooks on the post. And that's 19 in the first down. At the four. They are moving the chains again. Can they take the lead now? Marlon Mack in motion. It's a handoff to Damian Pierce. Sent to the end zone. Touchdown Texans. And now do you go for two again? I almost uh, think you gotta go, right? This is a five point lead. You gotta go for two. Two backs in the backfield. Motion Nico Collins. Mills is sacked. And it's no good. This is Daquan Jones. And... It's a five-point lead again. Daniel Jones, read option. He's got a block and he is tackled by Derek Stingley. But it's a first down. Daniel Jones showing off the wheel. Should have followed his blocker, to be honest. Pressure coming in for Jones. He gets the screen away. Barkley, that's actually not Barkley, but the running back makes a move. And he has at least a few yards. Second and 10 now. They convert the third down there. And Daniel Jones is scrambling outside and he's getting taken down from behind. That's Ross Blacklock with the sack. Third and 16 coming up and we're inside the two minute warning now. Daniel Jones, fourth and 16. And he just heaves it to the end zone. And it is caught by Galladay. Are you kidding me? Fourth and 16. And now they have it inside the one. Daniel Jones gets it away. Barkley is driven out of bounds and he loses a few inches. And now goal line personnel. Barkley to the outside and he loses five more. And there is a nice play made by the defense. Third and goal. And they are trying. Jones off the mark. And now you got to go for it again. Fourth down and goal from the five. Daniel Jones. Four man pressure. Stands tall in the pocket. Jump ball, touchdown! It's Kenny Galladay, who has not had any catches today. And then, in the, in the most important moment, he shows up and goes up and gets first a big completion and then later the touchdown and two jump balls. And now, two-point conversion is good. 
It's a field goal game. Kadarius Tony. There's a minute and three seconds left on the clock. And Davis Mills has got to get into field goal range. And he goes down. Nobody's open. This is Kayvon Thibodeau. Second and 18. Davis Mills, four-man pressure. Can you get the ball somewhere? No, you don't. This is a fumble. And it is going to be not a touchdown. But down at the three. And that's going to end this game. I formation for Daniel Jones. He hands it off to Barkley into the end zone and the game is over. It's gonna be a 10 point game. Wow, what just happened? You let them convert a fourth and 16 with a jump ball to Kenny Galladay of all people. Then you throw another jump ball to him on fourth down again and he ca he catches it. They get the two point and you get, you're getting sacked twice in a row on first and second down. The second of which is going to be a strip sack, and then the game is over. The Texans had a fighting chance. They had 63 seconds and three timeouts on the clock, and they couldn't manage to do it. Davis Mills below 50% completion percentage. He was hit throwing so many balls. This offensive line is atrocious, and the pressure almost always comes from the right side. Austin Deculus and AJ Can are just weak. And there is uh, nothing to be gained by playing them. But there is also not really that much alternatives to think about playing. And um, yeah, that results in yet another heartbreaking loss. And yeah, two and a half sacks for Kayvon Thibodeau. Could not be contained, was coming off this edge by Austin Deculus. He beat him, he beat him so many times results in two and a half sacks and probably like five or six pressures Dexter Lawrence was getting in there a lot but uh, only closes with a half sack but still he forced a few incompletions as well and then we couldn't get a lot of pressure ourselves and Daniel Jones just kept converting when it mattered and yeah Daquan Jones with the forced fumble there at the end doesn't even matter then because that drive wasn't going anywhere but backwards and we're just gonna look at the draft now focus players this is gonna be the guy I think this is a generational cornerback prospect Alex Day and I want to know everything there is to, about him but we already know a catching a press a zone this is like the perfect setup and He's going to have good athleticism, and I think that uh, we're going to have to look at this guy. Donnell Hearns was the second guy I selected, an edge rusher who does not look generational to me. I want to pick the best player with that first overall pick that is coming in. And then we're going to look at a guard because we have a second first round pick uh, this year. And there may be an opportunity to make a maybe take an offensive line at like... 20 or 15 or I don't know where the Browns are gonna end up but I'm gonna look at these uh, three players and I think that our first overall pick is gonna be Alex Day because there is no other prospect in this draft class that looks even nearly as good as Alex Day and they recommend looking taking a look at Jose Bradley he's 23 years old that's already a knock his athleticism is average i guess but his strength is really weak so he's not a really good run stopper and his coverages are at c and c so i don't think that he is going to be on my board he doesn't look like anything special and um that being said we have a few upgrades to take care of after training the next week christian harris harris is one of which and he has a little bit of awareness and tackling not the strongest upgrade but he i think he's coming along he makes uh, some plays with his good athleticism he's uh, some somebody to look out for and then we have the under siege scenario again and i'm gonna keep blaming the offensive line it's awful our right side of the line is horrendously bad even with titus howard it's bad but with austin deculus even more so and we gotta go have some extra preparation for this Thursday night football game. And um, yeah, we'll have an increased uh, focus on pass pro and lose some in the run in the running game. But that's okay. This is the commanders 
And you need to have the pass pro. You really do need to have the pass pro against the commanders. Who are quarterbacked by Carson Wentz in his seventh year. He is... Um, yeah, I think by now everybody knows what he is. He's kind of a slightly below average quarterback. He is just nothing special. Antonio Gibson. Nice athleticism. Good juke move and spin move. Change of direction. He's going to be a problem when he gets the football. Terry McLaurin. Scary Terry with great speed and catching rating. Good route runner. I like his skill set a lot. And... He is the number one there next to Curtis Samuel and Diami Brown. Chase Young with great finesse moves, not so great power moves, good block shedding. He's going to be a problem. They also have Jonathan Allen, Axe Factor, great athlete, 87 block shedding, 92 power moves. And then there, right next to him, they also have Deron Payne. They have Montez Sweat. Yeah. This team is a problem. And then the linebacking room looks kind of weak. And the corners, they have one good DB, and that's Kendall Fuller with nice coverages across the board. And yeah, I think you got to be honest with yourself. This is not the team to beat. I mean, obviously we want the win, but this defensive line is no joke. And we just had so many problems against the weaker Giants defensive line. But this defensive line is this defensive line is unbelievable. They have so many first round picks on that line. And I don't know how to stop these guys. This is like an awful offensive line. And I guess Titus Howard is going to be back this week. But is he going to stop Montez Sweat or Chase Young? You really think so? No, I don't. And this is going to be a problem for the Texans offense. But we'll see. Um, the commander's offense is um, kind of fun. They have a few nice playmakers. Uh, they have a, an average offensive line, I'd say. They have a few nice starters there. So our defensive line is going to have their hands full of tasks. And third and one to start the day for Wentz. And that's a completion to Terry McLaurin. Couldn't be contained by Steven Nelson. First down and they are... Moving the chains, getting into Texans territory at the edge of field goal range. Play action shot now for Carson Wentz, getting away from the defender and throwing it right to Stingley. And you gotta make a pick at some point, dude. You kidding me? You have to pick that one up. It's gotta be a field goal for the Commanders. So a three nothing game. As Davis Mills is gonna come onto the field, having a below fifth, below 50% completion percentage on the season. Handoff, Marlon Mack. There is some running room, and he falls right at the sticks. That's a second and inches. And there is an injury, AJ can. And he's gonna leave the game into the locker room. Probably not coming back. I guess it's a bruised shoulder. He might be coming back later, but Mack Sharping is in the game. So we have yet another weakness to take care of. Mills throwing it down the field, incomplete on third and five. And that's gonna result in a punt. Carson Wentz, zone blitz, almost intercepted. Murray was right there, but Logan Thomas got the first down, converting here. Third and eight now. They drop out of the double A gap look as Carson Wentz scrambles away, dumps it off, fourth down. First and 10, motion for Marlon Mack, and Damian Pierce has nowhere to go. That's a loss of two. And now it's getting close because their punt was really close to the goal line. And Pierce, nowhere to go! It's gonna be a safety! And the Washington Commanders take a baseball score lead. Five, nothing. What was that? Our offensive line is awful. That was horrendous. And they get the ball back on the safety punt as well. Sound blitz for Wentz, going down. Jerry Hughes takes him down. Finally, some pressure on the quarterback. Second and 15 coming up. They spread out the defense. They are going to throw it. Four-man pressure. Wentz rolling into pressure. Going down. It's Ross Blacklock. Third and 22 at the 50. And now you just got to get 10 yards. Get back into field goal range. And they were not able to do that. It's a punt away to the Texans. So 
Luckily, the safety doesn't have any more implications, and John Matchy just fumbled the football away. What is this guy doing, man? John Matchy is fumbling and dropping the football all over the place. It's so bad. And now they have the ball back at the edge of field goal range, and Scary Terry just made the, ca made the catch, 19 yards. Carson Wentz moving them into field, or uh, I guess the red zone, and now they're at the goal line. Carson Wentz is gonna call his own number. What a play call, and that's a touchdown. Wentz into the end zone, 12 nothing Commanders. Wow, this Texans team is horrible. And Mills doesn't get it away on time. Six-man pressure, fourth down. They gotta punt it away. Quan Alexander forces an incompletion that otherwise would have resulted in like a 30-yard gain because Marlon Mack was wide open. And now that is a conversion to Brian Robinson here, getting about 15 yards on the play. And they are moving on closer to the line of scrimmage and they didn't get it fourth down and in inches are you going for it no they they're not they're punting it away just ahead of the two minute warning mills has a chance this is brevin jordan and he's got the first down at the two minute warning from the 45 now first down and 10 and mills has a man and it is actually caught the throw was impacted by an incoming defender but it's a 15 yard connection with Jordan first down and now they're doing a play action shot four man pressure Mills gets it away and it's caught by Nico Collins 15 more they are moving the chains and they're draining some clock second and 10 Mills has a man over the middle John Mechie touchdown Texans great catch finally something positive from John Mechie but this guy has been a disappointment Dropping footballs left and right and then having a fumble in this game earlier But now nice catch over the defender over his own shoulder 7 to 12 game now and Carson Wentz just scrambling away from Russ Blacklock and there's a lot of green grass and that's More than 20 yards 23 to be exact trips to the left Wentz running away from the defender, but too fast Kendall Sheffield Great play. Washington has a four-man pressure, and that's caught by Curtis Samuel. Stiff farming Stingley out of the way and taken down with a great gain. With 10 seconds left on the clock, they're just going to take the field goal on first and 10 and be done with it. It's good, and we're at halftime. And, of course, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. This Washington team has been dominating, but somehow the Texans defense has kept them in play somewhat. But this offensive line needs to get it together because the pressure is relentless. They have not sacked the quarterback once, I think, in this game. But um, the number of throws that were incomplete while uh, a defender came into the backfield and disrupted the throwing motion is staggeringly high and it has been all season but especially in this game it's been really bad and now we're gonna move on to the third quarter Davis Mills has a six-man pressure man coverage across the board and John Mechie finally having a completion here once again 13 yards moving the chains here Davis Mills two running backs in the backfield and this is Damian Pierce and he just uh, stiff-armed the wrong way, I guess. But it's a first down, and they are moving the chains. Finally, a good running play. Third and ten. Davis Mills, four-man pressure. Runs and throws back to the middle, but that's incomplete. Almost intercepted. Fourth down, they take the field goal. It's a five-point game. And now Carson Wentz blitz is picked up, and he dumps it off to Jahan Dotson. And he's got 15 and a first down conversion. In the coverage of Steven Nelson. Second and six. Wentz hands it off. Nowhere to go. Actually, he is getting away. And racing down toward the goal line. Breaking a tackle. Derek Stingley. Wow, you gotta take down JD McKissick. But uh, Eric Murray finishes the job. But they're at the 12-yard line. And Wentz has some time. Throws it. Crossbody touchdown, Commanders. 
It's Jahan Dotson. And they get to touchdown. That's going to be a 12-point lead again. Third and one. Damian Pierce. Nowhere to go. They came out in goal line personnel. And Washington was ready for it. Two-yard loss. They got to punt it back. Great field position now for the Commanders. And this is Gibson to the sideline. Cutting it back to the middle. And still falling ahead there. That's 18 yards. And they are converting there into the edge of field goal range now. First and 10. Gibson to the sideline. Taken down by Murray. Nice play. Second and 12. Coming up to end the third quarter. We're... On to the fourth, second and 12. Carson Wentz wide open is Terry McLaurin. Steven Nelson way too far away. First and 10 at the 15. Carson Wentz scrambling around, getting an open man. And that's Curtis Samuel. Touchdown, Commanders. And Samuel has a touchdown as well. And this game might be over at this point. 19-point game, but still... Almost an entire quarter to go. Davis Mills gets it away. That's Brandon Cooks racing to the sideline. Turning up field. 16 yards. Mills has Marlon Mack on the angle route. And that was a bad pressure they brought there. They had brought six men. They brought the house. And Marlon Mack had the perfect route for that. Second and ten. Mills gets it away. And that's Nico Collins on the post. And that's 18 yards and a first down. Davis Mills gets him to the goal line. And now they hand it off. They toss it out to Pierce. It's a touchdown. Finally cutting into the lead again. And it's a 12-point game. Actually, it's a 12-point game if they take the extra point. And they do. Close bunch to the left. Wentz has a clean pocket for now. Scary Terry! He got away from two guys! Are you kidding me? What a move! 21 yards. Scary Terry's doing it again. And they move the chains into the red zone now. Gibson down at the 10. And Washington is trying to close this game out. First and 10, 11 personnel. Close bunch to the left. Wentz in trouble going down. And there we are at the two-minute warning. They add a field goal. It's a 15-point game. Davis Mills got to get it away, and he has his man. It's Nico Collins, 19 yards. Got to convert. This is a play-action shot. Mills gets it away, and it is intercepted. What was he thinking? That was a horrible call. And that is going to end the game. It's A.J. Boye. And yeah, he was trying to get that football to the in route behind him to Brandon Cooks, but uh, never saw the underneath defender just standing right there. And that game is over. It's a 15 point loss. Never stood a chance against this Washington team. I guess this is, uh, this is how this season is going to go. Didn't have any chance to win this one. Carson Wentz pray, played a perfect day almost. Davis Mills... Once again, 51% completion percentage. So many throws that got disrupted when just during the throwing motion. And then the running game was not going anywhere. We tried it with both, run both running backs, but there was just nothing to be gained there. Terry McLaurin had a nice day at the office. Curtis Samuel had a touchdown. Revan Jordan had a few catches, but John Mechie, once again been a disappointment he at least he didn't drop any balls this week but he fumbled away one last week he dropped a couple this is if this continues i'm gonna cut him because that's that's the nfl you can't do that especially on a team where you have to take everything you can get to even move the chains and ross blacklock had a nice day kendall sheffield we actually didn't let them sack mills once somehow we managed to avoid any sack this week but still, we lost because the pressure was just so much that Davis Mills got disrupted so often in his throwing motion. Like five, six, or seven times, I think, at least. And then, yeah, Brendan Cook's getting a nice upgrade here. His big weakness still is a release, which is kind of depressing because if he gets pressed with that speed, if he had a great release, he could be gone a lot. And we would have a lot of big touchdowns, I guess, but... Um, not with Brandon Cooks, I guess. 
and uh, yeah. After allowing zero sacks, we will receive a nice boost for the next couple games here. And yeah, we have a dev reveal with Kenyon Green. He is star dev, just like anybody would have expected. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing to really drag out. And then I got an update on Alex Day. Catching, man coverage, press, zone coverage. It's all A's. He has great to elite speed. He has average athleticism apart from speed, I guess, but there are so many A grades to be had here. Even block shedding is an A or an B. If your biggest concern is like hit power and kick return, that I don't care about that in the corner. This is the guy. I, I'm gonna pick this guy number one. Garrett Wallow is gonna hurt, be hurt for the next game, so I guess we lose, the, we lose the backup linebacker for this one. And with the training, we have a couple upgrades here. Jalen Petre with a really weak upgrade. That is not a great upgrade. He also has um, Star Dev, by the way. I'm not sure if I already showed that. But just like Stingley, all those guys have uh, Star Dev, and we hope to maybe upgrade that a little bit. And Jabari Zuniga, he gets a nice boost. It's just three points, but it's three important points and an important rating. And yeah, his contract is up at the end of the season. We'll see if we re-sign him. Damian Pierce gets an upgrade. Power back it is. And that is also kind of a weak upgrade, I gotta say. His stiff arm could get better, his trucking also. And I, I guess I don't even try Juke and Spin Move because it's just not worth it. And then Titus Howard actually didn't play in this last game because it was like a two-game injury. But now he's back and uh, yeah, we're going to face Miami, which is not going to be fun at all, I guess. But we're going to try to be confident in this scenario because um, we're not going to insult the Dolphins I think that has the negative like the hit power and stuff thing yeah you get um, if you take the other one uh, the other option your opponent gets hit power and stuff and I already have enough fumble fumbles as it is to a tongue of Iloa has been injured most of the season but he has developed um, into a nice quarterback, I guess, and he is starting this game again. He just got out from, in from injury. They have Chase Edmonds, nice speed and acceleration combo, some nice juke move here and there. He's just not a powerful guy, I guess. And they have Tyreek Hill, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, great route runnings, nice catching ratings as well, 98 agility. They also have Jalen Waddle, superstar dev, 97 speed, 97 acceleration. Not as great of a route runner, but uh, great catching ratings. His release is kind of weak. And then I guess for the defense, there is nothing really scary about them. They have a couple nice corners here. And Xavier Howard, one of the best in the league. And uh, Byron Jones, the number two guy. But he's also like a number one guy. He's just the number two on this team. He would be the number one on most teams. And he has uh, some nice uh, coverage ratings as well. Devon Holland with the nice speed and zone coverage. And now with that uh, boost from the scenario, he also has nice tackling. So yeah, they have a nice secondary. Their front seven is kind of average. There is an, a couple nice players here. Christian Wilkins and uh, Jalen Phillips. You have Jerome Baker lurking over the middle. But nothing special. There is no superstars along that defensive line or in the linebacking room. And um, I know you have to abuse that. You've got to run this rock. You've got to run it down their throats uh, until they stop it. Because if you're going to throw against the secondary, you're in for a tough day. And then for the Dolphins offense, I think that... Um, their offensive line is really weak. It's one of the weaker uh, offensive lines around the league. And I think that the Texans should be able to contend here and maybe make this a tough day in the office for Tonga Vailoa. And for receivers, yeah, you really got to shut down the passing game quickly because 
those guys with that speed, that's gonna be trouble for our secondary. I guess we have Stingley with good speed, but that's not that kind of speed. And we start off the day with a nice TFL for Roy Lopez. It's gonna be a loss. They get a couple yards back and third and ten. Tua Tonga Bailoa throws it out of the field. That's gonna be incomplete. And they punt it to the Texans to get onto the field as Davis Mills still having not a great season. But if you would add up all those uh, disrupted throws, he would have probably 5% more completion percentage or maybe even 10, I'm not sure. Two backs in the backfield, motion for Brandon Cooks. And Mills has a uh, five-man pressure, gets it away. Brandon Cooks runs away from the fenders, running down the sideline. And that is 31 yards on the catch and run. Brandon Cooks still can be dangerous. Third and 15, Davis, Mills gets it away. Brevin Jordan, incomplete on third and 15 after a false start on that set of downs. And they have to punt it. Uh, actually, they take a field goal. It was uh, kind of a far field goal, but they get it nonetheless. And there's a nice play made by Malik Collins in the running in the run defense. Second and 12 for Tonga Bailoa. Dumps it off. Waddle over the middle. That is an easy pitch and catch. 13 yards. First down Dolphins. Tua has a man open. And this is a touchdown Dolphins. Nice play by Cedric Wilson. And the Dolphins take the lead. Somehow they completely lost track. I think it was one of the underneath zones. I think it was Blake Cashman who lost track of his zone. But yeah, 7-3. to three, Marlon Mack running to the outside. Getting to the sideline. And that is 15 yards. Nice running here. Are they going to continue to run it? No, they're going to throw it. Third and 10 after a couple incompletions, I guess. Nico Collins fighting ahead and he just got the first down. It's exactly 10 yards at the sideline. Third and four now coming up after two short runs. Mills under pressure and he goes down. And that was a bad one because that knocked him out of field goal range. So third and four now for the Dolphins after they... Got a couple first downs at the sideline. This is Tyreek. But he stepped out of bounds and it's fourth down. And they take a field goal. Mills throws it over the middle. It's intercepted. And that one was a really bad decision. Javon Holland with the interception. The safety lurking there. Just waiting for the bad throw. Second and two. Tua Tangawailoa. Double slant from the right, and wide open is Tyreek Hill. Steven Nelson can't contain him at all, and that's no surprise. I don't even have, like... I'm not even complaining about Steven Nelson not covering that guy. It's kind of um, impossible. But now, you gotta force this run game on them, and Damian Pierce is still going. What a run, 22 yards for Pierce. Gotta force it on them. I formation now. Damian Pierce. Nowhere to go. They are swarming this defense. Three yard loss. Second and 13 now. Davis Mills gets it away. Complete to Brandon Cooks. Falling ahead. And that's a nice first down. 23 yards to the star receiver. First and 10 now. They have a close formation. Mills. Under pressure, gets it away. It's Brandon Cooks. That's 22 more. And they are finally moving the chains. Can you get the touchdown here or are you going to have to settle? Marlon Mack to the outside. Nobody there. Perfect blocking. And Mack gets into the end zone. Touchdown Texans. And they cut into the lead. It's a seven-point game. 11 personnel trips to the left for Tua. And he backs off. And throws it off his back foot. And that's incomplete. Derek Stingley right there. Fourth down. And they force a punt. Good field position for Mills now. And he has a man open. That is John Mechie. Can he get the first down? Yes, he does. And that's 10 yards at the sideline. First and 10 inside the two-minute warning now. And Mills is sacked at the midfield logo. That's Emmanuel Ogba in the backfield. 
Third and 16. Press coverage. And down the field is Brandon Cookson. He has it broken up by Byron Jones. That's what I talked about earlier. You have press coverage one-on-one. -on -one. If you have a good release there, that may be a deep touchdown. But like that, he took too long and then the safety had time to come over. And yeah. Timeout taken. The last one by the Dolphins. And uh, they are... Running ahead with the dump off there, and that is going to run out this clock. Oh, actually, there's a last play. Two seconds on the clock. And it's just going to be a dump off. And that's going to end the half. It's a seven-point game. And it would be closer if uh, Mills didn't throw that boneheaded pick there. But uh, you're still in this, I guess. The Dolphins are going to get the ball back first up, though. So... Uh, actually, I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Um, let's look at a couple of games around the league because um, the Jacksonville Jaguars are playing the Baltimore Ravens and it does not look good. They are not really looking to close in on the playoff race there, I guess. It's a 10-0 lead for Jackson and they go on to win this game. The Texans are hosting the Bengals and it doesn't look all that great for them either. They are at 500 right now. They go on to lose this game against the Joes and Jamar. And yeah, the only team that's still going strong is the Colts. Mills to start the third third quarter. If you had broken that tackle, that would have been a touchdown. But there is an injury as well. Laramie Tunsil is leaving this game. The only good, really good player we have on this entire team is gone and Mills just gets sack, got sacked by Jerome Baker on a perfectly dialed up zero blitz wow I guess it's just a shoulder strain for Laramie Tunsil but um, that still hurts because now you have a backup tackle on the left side and Titus Howard on the right side and then your interior O-line is horrible as well and you just didn't get the first down because Brandon Cooks uh, got stopped shy. They punted back to the Dolphins to um, start this third quarter on offense for them. And that is broken up. Tua overthrew Tyreek. Or I guess Tyreek did stop there and just didn't want to catch it. Mills throwing on the move. Nice play. Brandon Cooks 20 yards. And they are moving the ball again. And now third and two. Goal line personnel. Damian Pierce. Nowhere to go. Three yard loss. Oh, that hurts. Fourth down. And you punt it back to the Dolphins again. Can you stop them? Zone blitz. Down the field. Tyreek. He at least got cut. But uh, that is to be expected. 40 yard conversion. Tyreek behind Steven Nelson. First and 10. Tua. It's a play action shot and wide open is Jalen Waddle into the end zone to score lead. The Dolphins are running away with the game now. You gotta score touchdowns now. Mills on the corner route. Brandon Cooks wide open. Forcing a fumble, forcing a tackle, a missed tackle, and he runs down the field, and that is a huge conversion. That's 59 yards to Brandon Cooks breaking two tackles and running down the sideline there I wish he could have broken it all the way because uh, we are having troubles here Javon Holland couldn't make the tackle and then a linebacker dove after him but at least somebody made the finishing tackle third and nine Mills throws it up into the end zone and Cooks has the conversion 10 yards that was kind of an awkward play but he came back for the football first and goal. Marlon Mack, touchdown Texans. Finally getting a good run here into the end zone. And the Texans cut into the lead again. It's again a seven-point game. Dolphins have a four-man pressure. They back out of the good double A gap look. And uh, Edwards, uh, Edmonds gets out of bounds. First and 20 now. For the Texans, after a holding call on first down, they're backed up by a lot. Great run there. Third and nine following now. Mills behind the linebacker. What a perfect throw to Brandon Cooks. And he's got the first down. 
and Mills is having finally a great day at the office. Offset backfield, Damian Pierce to the left side, outrunning blockers, turning upfield, and that is a nice run of 17 yards. And Pierce finally having a good run again. Third and eight, Mills having an open man this is brevin jordan and he's got the first down that's 13 yards and the mills continues to have more than 10 yards per attempt third and three coming up now pressure coming in mills almost sacked he just about got it away but it falls incomplete harmlessly fourth down and three and you're going for it mills gets it away broken up by jerome baker Wow, how disappointing. Finally a good drive, and you can't finish it. Tua, having a chance to end this game. Five minutes left in this game. Jalen Waddle, first down, 23 yards. Tua also having a stellar day at the office. I've, um, that's not affirmation, that's goal and personnel. And he makes three men miss. Chase Edmonds, what a nice run. Into field goal range. Motion for... Tyreek, but the ball is going to Cedric Wilson to the outside and he's taken out of bounds inside the five and that's a 23 yard jet sweep. I formation, Tua hands it off, touchdown Miles Gaskin and the Dolphins are done with this game. We should have converted the fourth and three and we didn't and that's why we're gonna lose this game except John Mechie, huge completion, and that's a stiff arm at the end there, 25 yards. Mills, 20-30 for 2.99. Mills, oh, he's sacked again. Nowhere to go, second and 19. Mills, 2 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock, and Mills is sacked again. Third and 26, Josh Bynes in the backfield. And now you're at 4th and 26. And this is probably not going to end well. As it is broken up by Byron Jones, I think. I formation for the Dolphins. They're just going to end this game. They're actually going to throw it. And throw it away at that. But at least two timeouts left. 4th and 3, they're going for it. Chase Edmonds, nowhere to go. What a play by Blake Cashman. They have a chance. Two timeouts left. And there is a nice opening here for John Mechie. Luckily, he didn't drop the ball. And that's a first down at the sideline. Mills has trips to the right. And there is Mechie again. Out of bounds. 13 more. Didn't drop this one either. And we're now at 333 for Davis Mills. Throws it to the left side. Corner route perfectly over the linebacker's head. Out of bounds, first down, John Mechie again. Mills, back pylon, touchdown Nico Collins. And now you still have a chance. It's a one score game again. And there is 77 seconds on the clock. And like, what a nice throw, just over the head, off the DB there. And now the onside kick. It's recovered by the Dolphins. And Tyreek Hill, is gonna end this game here still two timeouts left I think there is still a chance to get this ball back but you have to stop him right here and Chase Edmonds is just gonna end this game it's gonna be a touchdown 10-5 touchdown Dolphins what is happening to this run defense this defensive line is awful this team has a horrible O-line and a horrible D-line and that is why we're losing every single game. No doubt about it. This team sucks in the trenches. We have no chance. Davis Mills had a really good day on offense. Still only got one touchdown because he got sacked like a million times and pressured even more. Damian Pierce, it was an okay day running, but it wasn't... The kind of abusing I would, uh, I hope that we would see. As Brandon Cooks has 204 receiving yards and John Mechie has 103. One drop, but he finally played a good game, I guess. And then, yeah. Um, 
Two sacks for Melvin Ingram, one for Emmanuel Akba, one for Nick Needham, one for Jerome Baker, one for uh, three more guys. They split, I think, seven sacks between them. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can't deal with it. But yeah, this Dolphins team is... Uh, yeah. A little bit too explosive to be handled by the Texans. We have another update and this is kind of a disappointing one. Donnell Hearns, the second player I chose for the evaluation. He is a good athlete, but not even a great athlete. And that doesn't warrant the top five pick for me if he then doesn't have good skills. He has A finesse moves, but that's all he has. That's all he does. And he's injury prone. He's a he's an above average athlete, but not good enough to be a top 10 athlete. Um, in this draft class he is injury prone and he has only one strength and it's finesse moves and not power moves that is not how I want, my, want to build my team so I can tell you right now I'm not going to pick Donnell Hearns because it's a waste of a pick he looks like a late first round pick at best to me so I'm still Alex Day's my guy if there is nothing um, all that like Surprising about him coming up uh, in the next few weeks. He's gonna be the pick in the draft I can tell you that right now, but yeah, we're the the worst team in the league Officially finally the 49ers got a win this week and now we're officially the worst team in the league with uh, only one win and That's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching if you enjoyed Please leave a like and subscribe for more Texan franchise see you in the next episode until then spread some love